Well, now we have an amazing story of a Missouri woman with a chronic disease who's trying to break a Guinness World Record in kayaking. Her name is Tracy Lynn Martin, and so far she has traveled thousands of miles through the Great Lakes. And today, Martin stopped in Buffalo and shared her inspirational story with Two on Your Side's Jeff Preval. Every day I wake up and I think, can I do this? And I'm going to go out today, maybe I'll quit tomorrow. And so far, tomorrow has never come. Tracy Lynn Martin's story doesn't start with her. It starts with her mother, who last year was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. During the last few weeks of her life, she had a lot of regrets about things that she always thought she had time to do and she never did. She told me if there's anything I ever wanted to do, anything in life that I what felt strongly about to do it now. Martin suffers from rheumatoid arthritis, which she's on medication for. And as an experienced kayaker, she set out to travel the Great Lakes and break the world record for most miles paddled, 3,822, in a surf ski, which is similar to a kayak. Her journey began in March, paddling lakes Michigan, Superior, and Huron. You know, you feel like you have this entire wilderness that God created all to yourself. Most most nights, Martin has found shelter from people who have heard her story through news reports. It's been a real blessing, the number of people that have opened up their homes. She's been active on her Facebook page, giving updates on her journey, and on Tuesday, she hit Dunkirk. It's been two days of frustration and a lot of setbacks. I was supposed to have paddled in here last night, and... Um, the wind started blowing out of the north and it just the waves were just terrible. She's been battling her arthritis. I just felt really ill today and I had a horrible migraine, took my medicine. And today she hit the beach at Wilkeson Point, less than 200 miles from breaking the record. I want to try to be a role model to people with chronic illnesses. You know, I, I want you to be able to get up and do the things that you still love. And it's not just Martin out there. She has a team of helpers on the ground tracking her by GPS so they know where she is. And today, Martin paddled just shy of Niagara Falls. In order to stay on track, she needs to carry her boat around the falls tomorrow and get back in the water near Lewiston. They continue around Lake Ontario and back down to Detroit. After all this, she plans to return to her job as a registered nurse in Kansas City. And she says she can't wait to return home back to her family. Reporting live in the studio tonight, I'm Jeff Preval, Channel 2 News.